Yeah. Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing well. I'm sure many of you remember the whole hacker epidemic we had about a year ago. If you don't, I'll give you a brief refresher. Last summer, there was a group of hackers that had their own Discord server and they were specifically targeting streamers and sniping them when they were live and they would use certain exploits to hold their game hostage so that they would have to either disconnect or wait two hours for the game to automatically expire. Now these hackers were targeting streamers for two reasons. One was for the reaction, obviously, to troll, and the other was to promote the cheating program so that more people would be more inclined to pay for this subscription to get the services. Obviously when you're sniping larger streamers and using the cheats in front of their audience, there might be some trolls in the chat, you know, watching that would be like, oh, I wanna do this, and then they'll look it up and pay for the subscription. Fortunately, Behavior has cracked down a lot when it comes to cheaters. They have been banning thousands and thousands of them, and they've also been getting rid of some of the exploits that make it possible to hold the game hostage. However, despite Behavior's best efforts, cheaters do still exist, and they are still finding ways to target streamers and hold their games hostage. The cheater that we're going to be talking about today is actually a streamer themselves, from Russia. That's right, they stream themselves cheating and sniping other streamers. As you can see, this streamer is playing Blight, and they can see the auras of every survivor, as well as all the hooks and everything. They're also able to speed themselves up and curve perfectly and just kind of weave their way it's it's pretty wild um they can do some some gnarly stuff look at that oof yeah. oh he said easy easy the streamer said now you'll also notice in the top right corner that this hacking ttv puts the stream of the streamer that they're sniping up in the corner puts it up there so that people who are watching them can also watch the person they're sniping. The streamer also plays Deathslinger. As you can see, there's some some aimbot and some <laughs> some wild shots. What the fuck, man? Yeah, what the fuck? Look at this. Check out this speed. Oh sh. Good God. Look at that. Oh wait, it's not over. Let me just fucking spirit phase across the map and down the Claudette who's mending. Jesus. Speaking of spirit, they also played some spirit. Check this out. Oh my god, look at that. Oh, just yoinked him. Holy god. Yep, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, this is all, all still possible in Dead by Daylight. <laughs> He's always very proud of himself and laughing. Now, here's where you'll notice. This is how the the, uh, the streamer takes other streamers hostage. They're able to fly themselves in the air and mori the survivor. And basically, this just locks their game up completely. And they're just stuck. They're just stuck there and they have to DC. Or wait. This next clip is especially sad because the streamer that they're sniping here is super nice and while they're getting held hostage they think it's actually a bug and their first concern is uh, whether or not the killer's bugged as well so they DC to try and help the killer get unbugged even though it's just them holding them hostage maliciously but the fact that they immediately thought of the other side you know being bugged and DC'd for them was just kind of nice even though Turned out to be a, a hacking asshole, but yeah, this is the clip. Please pick me up, buddy. Pick me up. Yeah, do it. Do it. You better get outplayed, son. Do it. Oh, you bitch. This motherfucker. So this like, motherfucker brought the yellow Mori. So he's like joking around. What? Wait, how did he... he brought the TV. How did he Mori? What? So he's confused because there's no Mori. What was his offering? Huh? I'm... My screen is bugged now. I'm just watching him. Yeah. There. <laughs> he giggles. Is his? Can someone uh, check his stream? Is he live? By the way, I don't know if someone would check yeah, that. Yeah, he's live. Can someone see if his screen is bugged as well? No, I don't have a Hopefully that fixes him. Oh, well, I thought it was just like a bug. Maybe he. Uh, it might have been. He's so innocent. I'm very confused. That's weird. I didn't even realize that guy was a hacker. Him and his friends did realize afterwards that it was a hacker because. The hacking streamer puts TTV in their name and, and promotes their channel, so they 
just you know going to their channel to see if they're bugged and whatnot they were able to see that you know all these cheats were going on and they they put the pieces together but originally that's not what they thought they were just kind of giving them the benefit of the doubt even when there wasn't a mori and they got mori they were like oh that's weird how did that happen they, they didn't immediately even jump to hacks it wasn't until they went to the channel and saw all the crazy shit that they were like oh i guess it's a hacker luckily there is a bit of a happy ending here the streamer did get banned on twitch it did take a little while though i've been aware of this streamer for about a week and they would pop into my recommended because of me watching their clips and every time they'd pop up they'd have like 50 to 70 viewers which is quite a bit although it's probably just people that have been in their matches and you know were salty or reporting them because you know they were cheating and you could see sometimes in the chat that people were yelling that yelling at them and calling them names and mad about what they're doing so but they, they did have a fair amount of viewers and obviously people were reporting them and it took twitch a while to ban them but they are banned i don't know if it's an ip ban or if they're just going to make a new account and do the same thing all over who knows i also don't know if they're banned on dead by daylight or how many accounts they have there hopefully behavior has banned them the most interesting thing to me about this cheater was that every single match they made sure they were going against a ttv they would basically always force themselves into a ttv lobby and then pull their stream up in the corner, you know, go against them, hold them hostage, laugh, giggle, say easy, all that stuff. But yeah, I don't know if they were like looking, you know, at people who were live, anybody who was searching for a game and then looking at their username and then just kind of forcing themselves into their lobby. I have no idea, but it was literally every match for hours. It was, this is all of their streams were, was just them forcing themselves in the TTV lobbies and doing this. Hopefully this doesn't become a regular occurrence like it was last year and that more streamers don't continue to get targeted. I'm hoping behavior is, you know, aware that people are still doing this and um, I hope that they're aware that people are still able to take the game hostage uh, like this as well. I I've never seen anyone take the game hostage in this way. Uh, from a killer standpoint where you mori and then fly into the sky and then you, you hold them hostage there. Because honestly, it's one thing to go against a cheater and lose and whatever, but it's a whole other thing when you're held hostage and stuck there for a long period of time, especially when you're streaming to an audience and people are, you know, watching you and might get bored and leave. And uh, maybe you're playing with friends and your friends are ready to go to the next match, but you as the streamer are just stuck there because you're the one being targeted. Like, that just sucks. Anyways, that's going to do it for this video. I just thought you guys might find it interesting and thought that it couldn't hurt to make more people aware for those who weren't. Let me know down in the comments if you've had any recent experiences with cheaters. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.